My name is Dr. Chong Wei Yang. I'm now the uh, Vice Provost for Strategic Research Partnerships at the Singapore Management University. When I was actually at the uh, National Research Foundation, where I was a deputy CEO for five years, I was asked to look after health research as one of the areas of my responsibility. So I, in that five years, I got to know the medical ecosystem, the especially the clinical scientist ecosystem quite well. And of course, uh, it wasn't too surprising that when COVID hit Singapore, I was asked to join the Ministry of Health uh, to actually bring technology into our fight against COVID. I then moved from the research into the implementation of the science in practical ways that will help us to solve problems. I learned more and more about how we should think about innovation and how new technologies ultimately impact uh, patients' lives and improve the health of the entire population. No, I think one of the things that uh, you have heard about is Healthier SG, where we have actually uh, chosen to engage all the GPs to become part of a public health system, sort of like a delivery of health for our population. That was the only way we could have done it because on our own, the public health system would not have been able to handle. Looking forward with an aging population, this is probably the only way that Singapore would have been able to handle the health needs of our population as they age. We are hoping that in that process, we will be able to move ourselves towards preventive care approaches. But in order for preventive care approaches to be really effective, some of the things that the Ministry had been working on was to build a data architecture and a data backbone that allows for population health to be rolled out where the GP are able to send the data back into a central database where the insights can be derived. And out of those insights, we are able to then apply precision health methods because as part of this overall effort, we have also been starting to look at the genomic data of our population. That's when the data uh, with the big data analytics that we think we should be able to introduce will allow us to actually deliver preventive health. It will keep our elderly healthy for longer and more importantly, allow them to live much more fulfilling lives than otherwise they would have been able to do.